Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Good job! We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the gap. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Great! Let's make a pie! Hmm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Okay, it's time to bake a pie! First, preheat the oven to 425... I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willie, let's have some pie! Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? That's great! I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? 
Great! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Good job! Let's go get that treat! Mmm, everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? Those look so tasty! We just have one more stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend! They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Great work! Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. It's you. Whatever you do, don't... <laughs> oh, no! Wooly had an accident! An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't try. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going to... The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bones.
I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm, I don't know, Wooly. You're right, it's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? Eeeew, you're right! This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? That's right, the tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Men can die if they don't get enough light or water, or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? The gun? the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush. I don't think that was it. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. You, but that's not my favorite flower.
Santa. And I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Good job! We can use... I'm Amanda. And I'm Lily. Uh, Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great! I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Job. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend, something bad happened. What kind of card should I send them? That's not the right card. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm. Shh. Here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. Are you sure that's right? 
I know. Looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, I know! Let's get them some nice candy. Do you know where the candy store is? Great! What, why did you do that? Now I can't find the candy store. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Don't do that! I don't want to go there. I said I don't want to go in there! No! Why is this happening? No! Why can't I stop it? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. I want to get my friend a special treat. Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda. That's... That's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to?
I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Ba. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? That's great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different, and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal, and I... Animals don't talk, silly. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says... Meh, meh. A chicken says. A pig says. Blink. Fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal family. I want to see the chickens. Can you show me where the chickens are? That's not where they are. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? I want to go look at the chickens. Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. What a cute family. Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens, and I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum, yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? They belong.
looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Zero. 
Zero, three, two, five. Yes, but where did you find that? Cinnamon? Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425... I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in... to play anymore right now.
zero. Eight. One. Eight. Two. One. Three hundred and twenty-five Fahrenheit at thirty minutes. Zero. Eight. One. Eight. Two. One. Three hundred and twenty-five Fahrenheit at thirty minutes. That's not where they are. Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. What a cute family. Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chicken. The daddy is called. Okay. So scared. This kitten is a little. I'm Wooly. Ba. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? That's great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. what they're called. Try The rooster, the monster.
Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near... smell what do you think is making that bad smell e you you're right do you know what the opposite of alive is dead is the opposite of alive good job when an animal dies it rots too it looks like this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Then we need to talk about some new TV rules. <sighs> you know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I want to I capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own Everything okay?
weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. It's me, your friend, Skip. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Pie, man. Pie, man. Pie, man. Bye, lamb. Bye, lamb. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. This new man, she's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and go. Uh... Today, I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. Well, you can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year, you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? 
I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. <laughs>